So I see you've brought us today a, a rather austere portrait of an elegant lady, we'll say. And uh, tell, tell me a little bit about it and where you acquired it and what you know about it. Well, I, I purchased it at an auction mm -hmm. in Harford County, Maryland, um, in 1993. Okay. And she was, she, uh, she had been removed from a very ornate frame. Okay. And um, it's pastel, and she was propped up on an easel. So I ended up purchasing the portrait and the easel. Oh, neat. And um, what was so funny was that the portrait, it was only $10, but the easel was 16 <laughs> <laughs> um, but I really liked her. I have no idea who she is. Okay. Um, it's signed by an L. Dietrich, okay. and it's dated 1883. So I did some research online and um, discovered that uh, Louis Dietrich had a portrait studio. He emigrated here from um, Germany, okay. and he, um, he was born in the 1840s. He mm -hmm. came over from Germany. He had a portrait studio on North Charles Street, downtown Baltimore, and um, in uh, 1883, he became a member of the Baltimore Charcoal Club, okay. and, uh, which was actually founded in 1883. And um, I know that he has uh, many different portraits right. that are oil portraits that uh, hang in uh, Annapolis. Okay. And I know he did a portrait of Edwin Booth, uh, John Wilkes Booth's brother. Right. Uh, and that's up in the courthouse in uh, Bel Air, Maryland. Well, it, it's it's very typical of, of uh, late 19th century portraiture. Um, mm -hmm. uh, you said the medium is pastel, which is what we call a fugitive medium, which is something that if you're not careful, you put your finger on it, right. rub it, it comes right off. Right. Um, probably the reason why the frame was separated, many times these were ornately, like you said, yes. framed, and the frames far exceed the value of what's in it.